You know, you all know that approximately once a month, every woman goes through um, her period. And throughout history, <laughs> throughout history, periods have been a cause of um, disconnect between women and the rest of society. Women have been forced to stay at home if they don't have proper sanitary supplies to keep them clean, because it's, it's really easy to be dirty and during this time. And so throughout history, there have been different methods of making different sanitary supplies for your period. And um, <laughs> the, av the average supplies throughout that people use today are, are tampons and pads. <laughs> but I'm going, to <laughs> I'm going to propose to you today that those do not do the job correctly and that you should use a menstrual cup. Men, you may be wondering, why does this pertain to me? <laughs> and it does, it's really important for you to know. It really is. I, I really encourage you all to pay attention because, like we heard last time, you, want, you need to respect women. And the best way to respect women is to be knowledgeable about their needs and to um, help them get through it. So if you want your, you all have women in your lives. You have sisters, you have mothers. Someday you'll probably have wives and daughters, and if you want them to be happy and healthy, you should pay attention to the speech, so you can know how to, <laughs> okay. so you can know how to um, teach them about how to be healthy. Okay, so this, I'm going to explain to you how each of these work, especially for you men, because I'm not sure how much you know about this, um, but this is a pad. And the pad opens up like this, and on one side, this side, So when you have your period, you take it out and then you rinse it out with water 
there and then you reinsert it. So you're not wasting a lot of, like, if you had to change a pad or tampon every four to six hours, that would be a lot of waste in the world. Um, and it, so it's a lot better for the environment and it's a lot more cost effective. A box of tampons costs $12 generally. And if you go, if you're changing them as often as you should be, you'll probably go through a box of tampons through one period. And if you multiply that by 12, $12 by 12 for the 12 months and then times 10, that's over $1,000. So you're saving over $1,000 by buying a menstrual cup. So you're saving a lot of money. If you guys want to look at it, this one's never been used. It's brand new. It's, so if you, if you want to look at it, I'll put it, I'll pass it around. I'll put it in here so you don't have to touch it if you don't want to. But yeah. Wait, that's never been used? It's never been used, no. But they're, they're great for the environment. They're a lot better for your health in general. Also, there's, like I said earlier in my speech, there are still women today who live in third world countries who are not able to, to actively be in society during their periods. They don't have the funds and they don't have the supplies to, to, um, to go out and to buy sanitary supplies. So there are organizations that um, their sole purpose is just to give menstrual cups to women in third world countries because they're better for the environment, they're easier to keep clean, and they, they don't cost as much money. So it's a, it's a great way to get women to be active members of society all days of the year, not just the days of the year that they're not on their period. So if you want to help maintain a healthy lifestyle, not just for you, but for the environment as well, I consider that you um, buy a menstrual cup.